Hello and welcome back. Today, we're going to add an in-game UI or menu to our game. This will include displaying the score and the number of coins collected by the player. Before we dive into the UI setup, let's quickly clean up and organize our hierarchy for better project management. In the previous video, we attached our scene manager script to the obstacle manager. Let's fix that. Create a separate scene manager object in the hierarchy. Remove the script from the obstacle manager and attach it to the new scene manager object. Now, let's organize the hierarchy. Create an empty game object and name it defaults. Drag and drop the main camera, Cinemachine camera, and directional light into this object as children. Create another empty game object and name it Managers. Move the Scene Manager, Obstacle Manager, and Coin Manager under this Managers object. With these changes, our hierarchy is now clean, organized, and easier to work with. Now let's start by creating the UI for our game. Right-click in the hierarchy, navigate to UI, and select Text, Text Mesh Pro. When prompted to import TMP Essentials, click Import. Text Mesh Pro is a powerful text rendering system in Unity. It provides advanced text styling, improved visual quality, and enhanced performance compared to Unity's default text components. After importing TMP Essentials, you can close the import window. In the hierarchy, you'll notice two new game objects. Canvas is the container for all UI elements in the scene. It determines how UI components are rendered on the screen, and text is the actual text element where we'll display content like the player's score or coin count. To locate the text in your scene, double-click on it in the hierarchy. You'll see that the canvas is quite large, and the text is positioned in the bottom left corner by default. Let's move the text to the top right corner. Select the text object in the hierarchy. Adjust its position by dragging it to the desired spot or using the Rect Transform tool to set it in the top right corner of the canvas. You can customize the text further in the inspector, adjust the font size to make the text larger or smaller. Change the font style to bold, italic, or other styles available in TMP. Modify the width or height of the text using the Rect Transform properties. Adjust the alignment to center, left, or right, depending on your design. One of the most powerful features of TMP is the Auto Size option. Enabling Auto Size ensures the text fits perfectly within its designated area, no matter how long the text is. This is especially useful for ensuring the text stays on one line or within the bounds of the text box. To change the text color, use the Vertex Color property in the inspector and select your desired color. Next, let's rename the text object to Text Score as it will display the player's score. Now, let's create a text element for the coin count. Duplicate the text score object by right-clicking on it in the hierarchy and selecting Duplicate. Rename the duplicate to Text Coin. Reposition it to your desired location on the canvas, such as the top left corner or wherever it fits your UI layout. Adjust the color to differentiate it from the score text. Now we'll add an image to represent the coin in our UI. First, create a folder named Sprites in your project and import the coin image into it. To make it usable for UI, select the imported image and in the inspector, change its texture type from default to Sprite, 2D and UI. This step is essential because UI elements require images in Sprite format for proper rendering. After making the change, click Apply to save it. Next, inside the canvas, add a raw image component. Raw image works perfectly for UI textures. In the inspector, 
assign the coin sprite to the texture field. Adjust its size and position to place it near the coin count text. Let's add a pause button to the UI. In the hierarchy, add a button under the canvas and rename it to pause button. Remove the existing image component since we'll use a raw image instead. Add a raw image component to the button and assign a pause icon texture to it from the inspector. Adjust the size and position of the button to your desired location. Finally, delete the text component inside the button as we don't need it and reposition the button for better alignment. If needed, tweak the alpha value of the button's color to achieve a transparent effect. With these simple adjustments, your UI is now equipped with a stylish coin icon and a functional pause button. Now it's time to show the actual values in our UI. To display the coin count, go to the Coin Manager script and add a text mesh pro U GUI variable called text coin. In the add coin method, where we log the coin, we'll update the UI by assigning the total coin value to the text coin dot text as a string. Next, in the Coin Manager script, assign the text coin reference in the inspector. Hit play. And as you collect coins, you should see the coin count displayed in the UI. Similarly, to show the score, we'll create a new script called Score Manager. This will be quite similar to the Coin Manager script, so you can copy some of the code. Replace Coin Manager with Score Manager, Text Coin with Text Score, and Total Coin with Score. We'll also introduce a distance multiplier. This means we'll calculate the score based on the player's position. To do this, we need to add a transform variable for the player. In the awake method, assign the player's transform. Next, let's create an update score method. This method will calculate the score based on the player's Z position multiplied by our multiplier. Since we don't want decimal values, we'll use mathf.floor to int to convert it to an integer. Now, in the update method, you can either set the text in the UI directly or call the update score method. Don't forget to add the text score reference in the inspector. Finally, hit play. Now, as the player moves forward, the score will increase accordingly. Fantastic, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.